All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on the Infernal Shrines today. The friendly team of Fisto, Dehaka, Anduin, The Butcher, and Diablo. The enemy team, Murky, Imperius, Ana, Nova, and another handsome-looking devil on the other team, too. Um, Mephisto is a character that I played tirelessly at Gamescom. I played him, like, for eight hours a day for a week straight. So the fact that he's not Golden Ringed is purely superficial. I have put in the time on this character many, many years ago. However, he still doesn't have a Golden Ring, so I guess I have to do it anyway. Uh, this is a character I am so completely burnt out. I was, <clears throat> not current tense, so completely burnt out on that I just let them sit dormant on my channel as a result. But our Q ability is straight line skill shot on a delay. Our W ability is this radiating electricity around us. And then our E ability allows me to kind of set a tether, teleport forward, and then eventually rubber band back to that tether location. Uh, with our trait, um, I think anytime we deal spell damage, we also get cooldown reduction, which can be super duper good. Uh, at level four, we're going to get a talent that makes it so region globes kind of amp that up as well. Meaning when we go to these objectives, like the shrines that are right next to lanes, if I can dip out and get a region globe, we're going to be really, really well off. Uh, walking up because my tank is here, not too afraid. Uh, lane clear doesn't seem great. I might be missing something in that regard, though. And there are two popular ways of playing Mephisto. One is a uh, Q-focus build, and the other is a W-focus build. We're going for a variant of the W build today. Or at least that is the plan. The root on Ana right in front of the tower is pretty tempting to jump in on, but I need to remember they have a Diablo. And an enemy Nova currently sneaking around the back over here. We'll just hit her with our lightning current and get her exposed. And then back right up. So far, highest damage in the game. Every time I've played this character, that's kind of how it looks. Just because his early game potential is so good, especially if you can get in a two-person lane like the one we were just in. Murky does bubble at the last moment, trying to help out our Butcher by getting some meat. Nova, on the other hand, does not like that. I don't think I'll be at the four-man rotation up top. Uh, I could buy myself a little time, but if no one else is coming to help, we are dead. Okay. Uh, this is the talent I was talking about. Increased regeneration globe healing duration by 150%. Every tick of regeneration globe also activates Lord of Hatred. So they will be pretty important if we want to pump out the most damage that we can. Um, let's make our way down towards the objective. We might want to take over this mercenary camp before that happens, if we are able to. Uh, I found out the harsh reality that mercenary camps on Mephisto are super fucking awkward, so if no one else is able to do it, then we are going to just leave it there. Uh, because a lot of my damage does come from this W, if um, I'm fighting a mercenary camp, they're not just going to sit in the in the in the arc in the circle. They're going to try to get close to me and try to melee me. But of course, that means I can't deal damage to them with the ability at that point. Butcher tries to go in onto the enemy Nova, but does not connect. Imperius is feeling it right now, though. And look at these cooldown resets we get when we walk into a situation like that, where I was hitting a clone. I was hitting two heroes and maybe someone else. We could fire off our Q multiple times in a very short duration. And then as this is progressing, we already killed two members of the enemy team. So now I can sit here and just get some XP and make sure I have my region globe thing going all the time and help the team finish off some of these minions. Uh, because we got those kills pretty early on, we shouldn't be contested, but the enemy murky does seem to be getting merc camps on the far side of the map. And those things are already pushing. That's the one I wanted to take over. So we'll try to head over there and help out. Uh, at level seven, we take Frost Storm. This is going to give, um, while our shade is out, while the tether is out, we can uh, slow enemies with any of our abilities. And if you can slow someone with your W, it becomes substantially easier to keep them within the radius of your W at the same time. Murky's kind of always a bad example for showing off abilities, but, oh yeah, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> 
I was just gonna see if I could show him running with it. I assumed he was just gonna pop his bubble and run away, but no, that guy ran in. He was prepared. I also find the lane clear on him to be a little weird, but when you can pick up region globes and then just cycle your W again, uh, it's basically free, free lane clear. You just have to line it up properly with what you're trying to kill. Uh, you can hit the rangers in the back and the mage minion at the same time. See how clumped up they are? If I can get into the right spot, I can show it. There you go. So you do have pretty fast lane clear, actually. Uh, enemy team, looks like they're taking merc camps down in the bottom lane. Let's head down there and see if we can help out. Whoa! All right, I'm dead. I'm just dead. Never mind. Uh, we stole the camp! <laughs> what? <laughs> Didn't see that going. Uh, there is kind of a trap with the Shade and Mephisto because if you use it like I just did to escape, nine times out of ten, we found the rare time this time, nine times out of ten, and the enemy is just going to sit there and wait for you to come back to your original tether location and then beat you up. Wow, I can't believe I actually snuck that cap. Okay. Uh, friendly team is cleaning up the other mercenary camp down there and heading towards... Uh, the enemies, one remaining down in the bottom. Now, is this a Durance game, or is this a Consumed Souls game? I'm gonna Consume Souls. If we can help get characters low, then the Butcher has more chances of actually collecting meat off of our enemies. Uh, we also already have plenty of roots, plenty of CC. I don't think Durance is necessarily, uh, the best choice here. Nova walked into the wrong neighborhood, and she paid the price for it, taken down while being completely stunned against the wall. We see Maddie running away on Haka, trying to get some ground away from this enemy team, who chased him to the ends of the earth, but Diablo got rooted in front of that tower, and there was nothing he could do about it. We're just going to line up the electricity onto Imperius here and try to take him down as well. That's his ultimate happening now, but he gets no sanctuary as the Butcher goes in for that meat. Butcher sitting at 187 meat. There we go. Those are the right words. Not bad. Not bad start to the game. Let's just let these group up. W them down. Close. Fidgeted a little bit. Lost the clear. Uh, next objective is going to be up top, but we should check our camp timers. We have 20 seconds on this one. Let's get this going right at the start. Uh... I would love to do it myself, but we know how that goes. <laughs> uh, we do see Dahaka kiting down to the bottom of the map just to witness the butcher and all of the greatness. Enemy T was ready for that one, that's for sure. <laughs> all right, moving in on the Merc Camp now. We have plenty of time for the objective because we, of course, know that the enemy team is on the other side of the map. That's what they were doing down there. They were creating space for us. Yes. Yes, Imperius has already started. He's got 12, 14 so far. Actually clearing these out very quickly as the enemy team has still not rotated up in any meaningful way. Looks like we have caught the enemy, Ana. That apocalypse doesn't connect, but you know what? Mine won't miss. Yes, it will because they killed it. <laughs> so the ultimate I went for is Consume Souls is on a two minute cooldown, but it deals damage to everyone on the map. Uh, so it's pretty strong. A lot of people think the crowd control is better, and I'm not here to say that it isn't. I just would prefer damage whenever I can. Diablo's taking a big hit here, lightning on him and Imperius as they try to move through. The Q does connect and take Imperius down, and we are caught up on the objective now. We're going to go for Shard of Hate. This will periodically... Is it periodically or all the time? It might be all the time. Ooh! My auto attacks cleave. I love that. I miss Fury of the Storm in its heyday. My favorite talent. My favorite generic talent. I'm glad I have a piece of it. Uh, friendly team is pushing down top lane already. We might want to consider moving in and taking this just so the enemy team cannot. This will also get their timers out of sync with the objective. A bit more, hopefully. 
Uh, that being said, enemy team is jumping in. Let's try to get some damage onto their front line here. Diablo getting shredded by our W so far, and it's not looking like he's moving too fast. The Butcher does connect with that charge and gathers a little bit more meat for the road. The Punisher jumps over the gate and helps us secure a kill on the enemy team's Ana. And this push is still looking pretty healthy right now. I definitely want that region glow. Perfect. That gives us more cooldown reduction. Imperius getting jumped on by the Punisher. Butching charging in soon after. I'm going to try to keep our Diablo alive. But Nova with a quick snipe finishes him off. Um, I don't think we core here. I don't think we could do that. We might need to start thinking about leaving team. Uh, I killed... Oh yeah, I'm out. Oh, where am I out? Here he is down. We're getting more resets. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. Channel. I'll get him. There it is. Uh, which one's real Nova? I can't even tell. There's way too many Novas. This can't be... Oh, oh, oh. I gotta go. Shit. Oh, that's bad. He did the thing. He was waiting for me. Oh, there it is. Oh, that went on forever, didn't it? There's a level 20 talent that I keep looking at called Shade Lord. Uh, I don't know if anyone takes this. Um, but in that situation, if I jump over the wall, I could swap positions with my shade. So instead of my shade being here, it would go to this side of the I army. Mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, that would just allow me to actually escape in situations like that instead of rubber banding myself back into trouble. I saw Murky putting down the um, the pufferfish, and <laughs> basically, once that's already set your recall location, it's difficult to recover. 60 seconds on my ult, so I'm not going to be able to help out in any way in this fight. I split my deaths really, really, like, I'm out of this for a long time. Maddie is pulling Imperius back towards the mercenary camp. Our Diablo is trying to get away at the same time. Butcher taking a lot of punishment at the top of the screen. It's like our team is fighting three different fights right now. I am mounted up and on the way as the enemy team Diablo is starting to get really low. Jumping in with the Butcher's tether, trying to deal some damage to Imperius, who gets shoved back towards our team. Diablo is going to help secure that kill finally. And now that's just Ana and Nova at the bottom. Enemy Murky went back in and capped that mercenary camp, which is totally fine. If we just sit here and kill it, it doesn't get any value. No big deal at all. Would have been nicer if it was pushing for us, but we'll make the best with what we have. But you're charging back in on Murky. Murky getting out of there. I can take this camp pretty well. I was talking about the other ones earlier because they move. They move towards me, but this one stays stationary at range the entire time. Uh, so we can take that pretty quickly. Friendly team does pick up a kill on Nova, but we lose our Butcher at the same time. Dahaka forced to sleep underneath those towers. Murky not ready for that percentage damage that we're now dealing with Static Field. Uh, I'm gonna ping for a lot of assistance. I wanna make sure the team knows I actually do need them. It's a pretty fast clear, but if anyone came around that corner, I would just be giving up prime mercenary camps, which is not my intention. Great damage on Ana, forcing her out. Diablo trying to engage on me, but our own Diablo catches him. I'm just going to go ahead and channel right now as they are taking a good amount of damage. That apocalypse catches Imperius, and we take him down with the rest of our kits. Okay, I'm going to start objective here because the main tank is, or the, you know, main damage threat for me is dead now. Perfect. Butcher is back on the map and will be able to join us shortly. Wow, the cleaving auto attacks. Actually helping out a ton in here. I could probably just use my auto attacks in Q to clear this down really, really fast. The fight is continuing on the road. I see an enemy Diablo misplaced. Let's just keep staring at this and see if we need to help. So far, it seems fine. Uh, Murky is likely going to try to take our other mercenary camp as well, since he just took over that shaman one up top. Uh, 13 more to go for me. Friendly team picking up two kills means this enemy team is super duper split. Actually, just one kill. Still super duper split. Dahaka is heading up top to use his global ability to take down that mercenary camp, and we'll just get this moving 
in the right direction for me. Still don't have my ultimate. Maybe I just go for Mimic instead. Uh, this will make it so my shade is also casting this lightning. Uh, that just allows us to stack up the bonus damage on it a bit faster because the more this does damage, the more damage it does. Imperia is taking a beating as he tries to run away. One more. There it is. The auto attack secures a kill onto the enemy Nova. And did I mention that we're pushing the bottom lane at the same time? Completely uncontested. It's a beautiful spot to be in. If we had more minions here, I might want to stay, but because we don't, that means we're going to get more value out of the Punisher. Three members of the enemy team dead right now as we just completely annihilate that lane. Murky's trying to get into, into some trouble with Tahaka up top. Actually, just doing whatever he can to kill those catapults. Probably a good idea. Enemy Diablo is going to be back up in just a moment. Let me teleport and do this thing. That way I'm dealing damage with both myself and the Shade. Kind of uh, risky because we are not getting a lot of cooldown reduction at the moment, but I'm still going to try it again. So stand here, teleport, W. Look how fast that dies. Beautiful. Nice. And to an MVP. I feel like we don't see that very often. How many stacks did the Butcher end with? 350. We still ended up being really high in damage. Enemy Nova was catching up to us. I noticed that Nova wasn't split pushing. That's, that's weird. Talents I went for in today's video were a Furious Spark, Spite, Frost Storm, Consume Souls, Shard of Hate, Static Field, and then Mimic at level 20. Again, the reason I didn't pick Durance into this team is because we already had a ton of crowd control ourselves. Although, the level 20 for Durance gives it like almost a six second silence, which could absolutely devastate a team, especially considering that spreads. I don't know if I'm going to rush the golden ring on this character because I do like him, but he's been sitting dormant here at the uh, qu quite a while here at the bottom. So at least we give him a little bit of love today.